Uh, well, we did a research project here where we were doing screening MRI brain scans of amphetamine users, which include, included ecstasy users. So there's this huge, powerful magnet in there that is able to take uh, pictures of the brain and uh, gives you really detailed pictures of the soft tissues and the actual brain tissue as well. What we found is that six of the 30, so one in five of these young people, average age 27 years, had an abnormality on their brain scan that neither they nor the doctors uh, suspected. The most common abnormality we found was a thing called unidentified bright objects, or UBOs, like little areas of scar tissue in the brain. We also had one patient who's uh, brain size had shrunken quite significantly to a size that would be consistent with somebody more than twice his age. A part of the problem with a lot of this research is that many users are using whatever they can access, but it is consistent with other research that has been done. Um, and certainly the, the one case from the ecstasy-induced brain injury, there's very clear uh, cause and effect. Well, we know that these pills cause uh, what's called vasospasm, so the blood vessels get really constricted, and those cells need blood with oxygen to stay alive, and uh, that doesn't happen when the blood vessel is so constricted. So this was a young woman who uh, was what I would describe as a classic recreational user of ecstasy, um, didn't use any other illicit drugs apart from a bit of marijuana, um, used an ecstasy you know, once every couple of months and had only been doing so for less than a year. Um, she took an ecstasy with some friends uh, at a party and about 12 hours later she had a seizure, so she started fitting, uh, which had obviously never happened before, um, and she came into the emergency department, which is where we saw her, and she took part in the study. And this is the hippocampus part of the brain which is swollen up, you can see it's bright compared to the other side, and that reflects an acute injury from ecstasy. When she was followed up at one year, she, not surprisingly, reported problems with a short-term memory. If you're about 30, it's said that about 0.5% of people have got evidence of scarring. Once you get into your 60s, um, it's around about 20%. And once you get into your 80s, it's about 90%. In our study, we found scarring in around about 20% in people who are basically in their 20s. All right, so that's the kind of uh, prevalence that you would expect to find in somebody in their 60s. We also know that as you get older, if you've got evidence of this scarring, you are much more likely to get dementia, um, cognitive decline, declining in your brain function, to have a stroke or to die. When people say it's a safe drug, uh, and because they believe that, that to me, I argue the opposite. It's because people think it's safe that I personally think it's so dangerous.